Hi, my name is Brandon Darty, and I am a field application engineer with Faro Technologies. Today we are going to be covering the flash technology add-on that you can put onto your Focus Premium. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is flash? Flash is the ability to take a under 30 second scan that has color with it. This is going to speed up your time immensely with covering large areas that you want to be colorized. How flash works is it's going to first take a very low resolution scan. It's then going to take a picture with the panoramic camera on top of it and from there once you process it it is going to upscale that data to about 23 million points per scan. Now we talked about that low resolution scan that does have some limitations to it where you're only going to want to use it in certain areas. If you are in a very crowded MEP room, you are not going to want to use flash in those areas that you want all that detail in. But if you're in a very large area or going through connecting spaces, like at a hospital, a school, or an office space, you are definitely going to see the benefits of flash there. To get started with flash, you are going to need a focus premium. You're going to need the PanoCam, which is a Ricoh Theta Z1 as well as the PanoCam mount that goes on to the premium. You're going to be needing to use the stream app. And lastly, you're going to need to purchase the subscription for the Flash technology. So now that we've talked about Flash, let's go over to an area where we can scan and get some Flash scans. See you over there. Now that we've transitioned into the hallway to take our scans, we first started out with our calibration scan, which I have already taken in this area. Now this calibration scan has to be taken in an area with no movement, not a lot of reflection, good lighting, and of course it needs to have good geometry because that is going to be what tells the internal camera and where that is to match up with the pano cam so that it now knows the distance from the origin of the scanner to the pano cam on top. So once you take your calibration scan, you are going to want to take that in a very not busy area. This can be on the project where you're going to actually use the scan for your project, or it can be in an area that is a few feet away from where you're actually going to start scanning. You can then, after processing this scan, delete it. After you delete it, it's already going to be stored in the, the metadata of scene, so you'll be good to go. So let's continue with our scan right here. I'm going to just make sure that my flash scan has already been selected. So right here, I'm going to select the flash profile, and I'm going to start the scan. So this is going to be a under 30 second scan. You're going to see that it takes the pano cam image first and it's only one picture. So that's very important to understand. Only one picture. With that, it is going to just spin around 180 degrees. And then spin back to its initial position. You can see here that we have taken our doorway or connecting scan in under 30 seconds and we can move to our next scan position. Now I'm going to make sure that I don't go too far because once again, these flash scans have a little bit less of resolution. So I'm going to just move it so that it has the overlap that's necessary in a tight space like this. Something that you will notice is once again, it's taking that image and you want to try to be out of that image. So of course you can hide behind a wall or because it's only taking one image right at the start, this will block you as long as you are knelt down like this. So I can just start once again, let it take the data and just wait for it to finish. And it's only 30 seconds. You'll get a little bit of a workout in there if you're taking a couple hundred scans. But this will make sure that you're only capturing what you want. And once again, it came into place. Now we're going to move the scan again. And 
this is just going to be a very repetitive step. Just scan, scan, scan. You're going to want to make sure that the uh, scanner is very level as well because the flash scans do not use the inclinometer when you process it in scene. So that's why after you take about 10 to 15 scans or you're starting or ending your scan, you want to make sure that you're not doing a flash scan in those areas. So every 10 to 15 scans, just take a regular scan so that inclinometer is going to be used. So we could do this about 20 more times if we wanted to, but I think you get the picture. You're just going to scan, make sure you have good overlap, and once again, we're going to end with a regular scan. So positioning it, switching our profile. I've already set up one that has the pano cam that it's using. And now we are just going to start that scanner. And in this one, once again, this is not a flash scan. So it's not going to take the pano cam instantly. I can just walk around with the scanner this time. It's going to be much slower, but this will give me the inclinometer data that I need. So with that, once again, what you need to remember about the flash technology is it isn't for every single situation. You're going to want to make sure that you're using it in areas that you need to go through fast and you don't care as much about the detail. You're just wanting to get through that area. It's still going to have that millimeter accuracy that you're used to, but in those more crowded areas like those piping rooms or the things that you need to model, you're going to want to still use the the regular profiles that you're used to, not the flash ones. So with that, we'll let this play out and end it there. Now that we've discussed the benefits of flash and how it's going to increase your productivity by taking your scan times down and letting you scan more, if you have any more questions, please visit our faro.com website and you can schedule a demo there or get more information.